what's up guys welcome back to another video today in this video i'm going to review the anusandra project 3.3 which is very latest for redmi 7 and redmi y3 as well so and i already provided the video of uh, dot os 5.2 and official build for redmi 7 and y3 and i told that uh, that was the best rom and and compared to that dot os uh, redmi sandra is not uh, good at all so first of all let me show you from the settings let me show about info, you guys can say of course Android 11 and here is the C Linux status is enforcing and kernel everything you guys can see and let me show you interesting thing here just tap and you guys will get that uh, Android version and the build date and kernel was the build date and we have the latest security patch October 1 and kernel used from Nusantara so built in and on system settings we have gesture as usual and here is the animation you guys can see and digital well-being, working accessibility, you guys can uh, make your text contrasty if you want to make them. And on security section, we have screen lock and face unlock and everything is just working pretty much fine. And app locker, you guys can use and you guys already know about uh, that feature on all Android 11 ROMs. And after that, let me show you on display settings. As usual, Adobe brightness uh, styles and wallpapers. You guys can see and so many built-in wallpapers you guys can try uh, like this and so many wallpapers are built in here and live display is working actually here with color calibration you guys can uh, change the color of the display if you want to then and if you have advanced knowledge and font size and everything is just working pretty much fine and here is the animation delay so that's why uh, you guys can uh, face a lag here and you can see the UI background blur you guys can enable this feature and wake on plug when you uh, when you try to charge your device and put on charge and display will light up that's the system and it's smallest width you guys can change the dpi here and uh, by default we have the uh, smallest uh, you guys can make it bigger and after that we have the use customization have one new center wings and here is the themes notification and miscellaneous and we have the gaming mode as well and i already and one important thing is that here is the allo signature spoofing and if you want to install any third party applications uh, where is uh, restriction restricted actually you guys can easily use that application by passing the security system and we have the screen animation of uh, crt i'm using here you guys can check and double tap on log screen to sleep any screenshot type long shot screen you guys can see like this just take a screenshot and click on long screen just click on long screenshot just keep pressing and you will be able to take the long screenshot like this here you guys can see the longest screenshot and after that we have login screen items and fingerprint preference uh, if you want to uh, enable the vibration mode while you touch your fingerprint then you guys can enable that one and if you don't want then just turn it off and battery option carrier level everything you guys already know about that and here is the traffic indicator and that is working pretty much fine now let's talk about some basic things like gps is working or not and this is a vanilla build i already uh, provided so many g apps and you guys will get GFs link in the description and you guys can see GFs is working pretty much fine and this is uh, the current location so it's working pretty much fine and built in we have the Google uh, gallery you guys can use here and we have the Google camera go and I played games like uh, Call of Duty and Free Fire but Free Fire you guys can play on ultra HD uh, high resolution but no problem but you can't play Call of Duty smoothly uh, compared to dot os if you want to play games then this room is not for you and if you want performance uh, in performance wise uh, this room is uh, perfect you guys can use easily no problem and you guys can use that migrate application to keep uh, restore and backup your data and i used it and it, it worked pretty much fine so no problem on that and i already rooted my device so let me show you the safety net is passed or not uh, so that you guys can use banking applications So you guys can see by default uh, safety net is passed and let me show you some screenshot uh, about battery backup and uh, almost uh, 11 pm that was time and battery backup was uh, battery was in 62 uh, percent and in the morning i checked uh, the time was uh, 10 20 am and 
4% battery drop, you guys can see, 58%. And on Dot OS, uh, I got 0% battery drop, so that was really perfect for battery performance and gaming as well. And uh, here is the CPU throttling, you guys can see. On CPU throttling, is not good as well, uh, like uh, Dot OS was uh, very much good in that case. Uh, five, I ran it for 5 minutes and CPU throttled to 72%, which was really bad. And you guys can see the Geekbench is for 266 and 999, which also not good as well. Uh, so I don't recommend you to use uh, for daily drive. And if you are searching for a good room, then go with the uh, Dot OS. So that's all for today, guys. Hope you guys understand the video. And if you guys really like the video, then do subscribe and hit the bell icon.